Okay, hello everyone. How the game here? Today we are going to do a Godzilla video on versus mode. And because um, now these days I've been having very good games that has no lag in one on one of course I will be hopefully showing you guys what versus mode is like and how interesting it is because really some stuffs you see in versus mode are very very entertaining like how to fight a certain monsters and as a King Ghidorah I always have to use my first advantage that is to try to do this attack before they have any temperature why because if I am able to do this they won't be able to retaliate with a Nova Pulse yeah like that because if I allow him to do a Nova Pulse I will get into a lot of trouble and I, I, I did the raw too late I, I should have raw to try and avoid that oh dear he's doing it three times in a row and he probably ran out of energy already because that is what that is all you can do in a row I'm gonna try to stop his attack out with my gravity beam and he's gonna have so much problems if he's not careful and of course uh, doing a dive attack on Godzilla while he's doing a jump attack like that is not exactly the smartest thing to do but yes you're gonna eat my raw I'm gonna raw again and I'm gonna stop your attack out with my triple discharge you are unable Godzilla is unable to deal with my triple discharge for most parts if he is not careful and like that he is going to take a shit ton of damage in his face so guys if you're ever fighting a King Ghidorah and he is doing a super armor move try not to do your charge attack on him is never going to really work and let's finish this with a uh, jump in and I screwed up oh, then again maybe not Boom. there we go now now don't underestimate the King Ghidorah simply because he's big and bulky this guy is actually more or less a long-range character that can stuff out most of your attacks if you are not careful and that was one of the examples of how King Ghidorah can be played it's it's quite turtleish and pretty smelly in my opinion but there are characters that can deal with him a lot characters like Kiryu type 3 Kiryu we've got Mecha Godzilla generally kaijus that don't take a lot of beam damage yeah they have beam resistance and destroyer destroyer is Excellent against King Ghidorah. I've been in a few games of Destroyer versus Destroyer that I got totally de destroyed because the Destroyer just goes ahead and hit me at a very, very far range with his melee attacks. Destroyer's range cannot be underestimated. And of course, there is always the thing about versus mode where you are unable to find your opponent. So. We are going to give this a try again. I'm going to press random. And I am going to go back to King Ghidorah for one more round. Alright. What is so fun about versus mode? Oh my god, it's Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar is strong. But that's okay. We should be able to deal with this. Uh, Jet Jaguar has a very interesting ability. He's able to fly behind you and stuff out all your attacks if you are not careful. But as a King Ghidorah, I always get the first say in things. See that? He is gonna just keep jumping to the side of me and he's gonna fly behind me, which I know he's gonna do, and I'm gonna stuff him out. Because he just cornered himself. I am not going to allow you to do that, Jet Jaguar. And I don't have a temperature, so I'm gonna try to hit him out with his own attack. Now he, Jet Jaguar is strong against certain monsters, but generally, because he only has a melee attack, he can't really do much, like right now. <laughs> I'm sorry dude, but I am King Ghidorah. You can't just stuff me out of- Oh, he's stuck in the corner! He's... He is so gonna take so much damage. And not only that, I am able to stuff 
a lot of Jet Jaguar's attack simply with my own normals because Jet Jaguar's attack does so little damage it's not exactly very dangerous dangerous and there we are done that was fast well when fighting Jet Jaguar I definitely switch up my strategies because that is how I mean I use Jet Jaguar and I was I understood how Jet Jaguar is at being very very speedy but that's the thing about Jet Jaguar he isn't very um, he is he just doesn't do a lot of damage and okay next up we are going to have one more game that we will be using Godzilla and that guy is using Showa Godzilla although I don't think he has won before so he is new probably new to versus mode I hope I'm not sure if his Godzilla will be leveled but yeah if you bring a leveled Godzilla oh dear this is one of those laggy games that I am so sad I have to show you guys but that's okay because this guy apparently probably know what he's doing I'm gonna just stuff him out for most part okay, Godzilla has the ability to raw tackle basically you raw just to cancel that and I'm going to stuff him up with a beam of my own when you raw you gain super armor so you have to time your raw to your opponent's attack and Godzilla's raw has very very little startup it is extremely strong when it comes to charging monsters as when you raw and you you can do a armored charge and that armor charge version will help you in a lot of ways. So over here, we do a nuclear pulse back to him. It's really laggy, I'm sorry about that, but that is how some of the games are. Uh, we probably got... No, oh, he's using the extremely weak vapor breath. Now I'm surprised, because generally you don't see vapor breath being used. I'm gonna raw... Okay, there's, there's lag, so... I'm gonna have problems raw dude. Then we are gonna do the back tackle. Yeah, that's the way. And now that he's in the corner, we can do the nuclear pulse. There we go, one full combo, although he's lagging, and I doubt he is fully level because he seems to only have one charge. Which in that case he is definitely going to die. I'm going to do a raw version of the beam move to finish it off. That, that wasn't really satisfying because that was me beating up someone new. Although it was laggy so I was trying to finish off the match as quick as possible in order to go into another game. Now we do get laggy games like this every now and then which I'm not extremely happy about so it might have something to do with the networking but when the game is not lagging there is a lot of little mind games going on in this game all right to, to be precise it's kind of like a rumble proper fighting game which is interesting because you get to fight real people on the other end and they do little tricks neat tricks like how the Kiryu does his dash cancel and oh my goodness we are going to war this is 201 for Godzilla if if he knows what he's doing I am going to get my ass kicked and and what's the best part there is no lag okay here we go here we go all right we both have armored raw and we both are able to do really really cool stuff that's that the difference here is I have nuclear pulse and I can turn around faster than he can if he's not careful, I can probably stuff him out. Like right now. There we go. He's constantly mashing his... Uh, what's that called? I think he's trying to take lesser damage. In which case, we are going to make use of it because I don't know why he's total... Whoa, that is a lot of damage from that tail weave. And that is his takedown move. I mean, escape move. Alright. Are doing that way too often I am going to beat the crap out of you with a raw charge he's, he's not stuffing me he's not even using he's saving all his meter just so that he can use the get out move 
which is not always a good thing. Yeah, like right now, because I can totally use my nuclear pulse back just to stuff him out of it. That's that's that move in the face. That's okay. We are going to go into an armored attacker, and if we use this, we are going to counter with a nuclear pulse. There we go, and I think we are done. Well, obviously he didn't know what he was doing because if he timed his attacks, you can't just mash in this game. If you just go head out and mash in this game, you are going to lose most of your battles. All right, the the guys who I have faced, the strong ones I face every now and then, they who knows what Godzilla is capable of doing. They will be dodging my moves waiting for me to attack before they do anything and they will be charging up their temperature to the point that it is very difficult ah this is this is a game that is that might be very difficult for me because it is a kiryu type 3 we both are going to go into he is very fast he has very good projectiles which i cannot dodge out of like right now all right walk away I am not going to all right I'm attacker nuclear parks and he counters with his own no do not do that twice you can't do that twice in a row dude if you do that twice in a row I am just going to stuff it up all right at that range he cannot dodge because if it does I he will get stuff out. I'm just gonna charge my temperature for a while because he's he seems to want to go for the spiral claw, I, which I don't know why. And now he's gonna be in big trouble. Okay, fine. Let's do a charge version of this. If he presses, he is going to take a hit, and he did. We were right. I'm gonna roll again and I'm going to shoot my gun in his face. I mean not my gun, my atomic breath. What what do you mean by my gun? Oh dear, I'm not using Kiryu. Alright. Every time he rolls, it could be whether he's preparing for an attack or he's preparing for something else. We would not know until we Alright, he keeps doing that. You can't use your get out move to counter people because if you do you are going to have a lot of trouble like right now he is in deep trouble because I know that he doesn't really have much temperature left oh dear yeah that's okay he has no range the proper range for a maser cannon will be around mid range and if he is not accustomed to doing things like that he is going to have a lot of problems I'm gonna stuff that out, and he's gonna stuff mine out. I'm gonna roll, and I'm gonna do an armor dagger. Yeah, we both did the same move. That's okay, I'm gonna do... Oh dear, that hurts. Okay, never mind, we, we are almost done. I believe he used up all his temperature, so we are going to go for a... Oh no. I have to dodge that with this or I won't win. Good. My turn. Oh dear. That was too far. And we are both too far away from each other. This is not a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna move back so that I can charge my temperature. Oh, he jumped! And he made a mistake there. I stuff out the jump with my normal breath which is a lot faster than my raw version of the breath just that it does lesser damage but yes guys i hope this is a good example of how versus mode is played and you guys get an idea of how the little games that you get to play with your opponent you need to know what he's doing you need to know what your kaiju can do and you need to make full use of it all right if when there's no lag it's extremely fun so but when there's lag, it's really terrible. Well, uh, that's the end of the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And I hope you guys had a good idea of how Versus Mode is. Uh, I will be doing a review 
very soon and there will be more upcoming kaiju monsters with tips and tricks for every single kaiju out there on the channel I, if you guys want to see more do subscribe and take a look in the godzilla playlist oh that's it for today howda game signing off bye bye